Melissa Gray. I'm the Executive Vice President at Zions Bank over Corporate Retail Strategy and Service. Honestly, I never planned to have a career in banking, but it picked up a lot of threads from my um, education and from my background, and I was moving around a lot after I finished my MBA, trying different parts of the world, and banks are everywhere, so it was just that thoughtful of a decision. I really like transforming process and procedures and products that we have to meet our new strategic objectives. So figuring out how something is working and then changing it to fit our new objectives and seeing if that's implemented properly is what really engages me. I think um, redoing our product line so it's simpler and easier for our clients and our employees to understand who should have which kind of checking product because that's the core product is your payment account. And once we um, revised our products, Money Magazine actually recognized Zions Bank as one of the best banks in 2012 and 2015. I think to be a successful professional and a leader means that you have to have clarity of vision of what you're trying to accomplish and why you're trying to accomplish that. And if you communicate that, you can really engage people in the process of transformation to reaching your new strategic objectives. So they understand where you are, why you need to move to a different place, and can kind of play that out with a clarity about roles and responsibilities. That engages everyone in your effort. I think being a good leader definitely involves clarity. Uh, communicating what you want and why. It involves um, constant feedback, letting people know how they're doing relative to what your expectations are. I think setting high expectations is actually helpful in terms of keeping people engaged, kind of right in that bubble between being um, bored and being overly stressed is where you want to be in the flow. And I think also um, having a sense of humor and um, being honest when you've made a mistake and being able to say that. Those are things I try to model in my leadership. Uh, I think the current age really favors people who can use emotional quotient and who have a diversity of thought and background. There's a lot of social science about that now where that contributes to better decision making. And I think uh, the use of analytics and the kind of detail orientation and multitasking that most jobs require now really favors women in some regards. So I think uh, we're having more success, if you will, in, in higher positions than we ever had before. Uh, I think the first person who has to take you seriously is you when you're entering the workforce as a woman. If you don't take yourself seriously, then your chances of creating opportunities for yourself I think are diminished. Uh, don't always assume there's going to be someone better than you are coming along to fill that position. Put yourself out there, uh, work hard, uh, have good education, be honest, and uh, you can expect to have opportunity as a result of that. My motivation has always been very internal. I always have a very clear idea of what the goal is that's usually somewhat above and beyond maybe what the stated goal is. Uh, I'm kind of a, an overachiever junkie, if you will. I really like to, to get across that finish line. That's where my competitive juices come out. I was never a team player in sports, but I really like getting things done. In terms of admiring people, I don't really have a specific person, but I have a great admiration for all the women I know who have worked hard to train for their career and to go to work every day and still juggle all those responsibilities that come from being a, a daughter and a partner and a parent and a person involved in the community and the school. Uh, I have a lot of respect for women who do that. I think we're the glue that holds communities together and um, just respect that. Uh, two things that I'm very engaged in outside of work are um, uh, furthering uh, post-secondary education and financial literacy in women and um, mental health advocacy.